Hey guys, are you still seeking fall inspiration, motivation, trying to get into it? Well, hopefully this video will just give you what you're looking for. I'm going to share with you today my front porch and front yard makeover. I'm going to take you on a little field trip. I'm going to do a few DIYs and hopefully some of this in this video will inspire you to get started. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your lovely host here, Gigi Faison, and I welcome you at my home today. We're on the outside, not the inside, where I will be sharing with you my front porch. So if you are interested in seeing the outcome, stick around. While you're waiting though, go ahead, grab your coffee or tea, whatever it is that you're choosing to drink. Sit back, relax, and just enjoy this video. Guys, I appreciate you so very much. Now's the time to bring a little life to the front porch here. Um, this is the before, and I'm going to bring a little life to it. I have a couple of packages that I need to take in. I'm actually just getting home, jumped out of the car, decided to come up and um, get this before view. And then I will come back out, add a few moms, make a little few changes up on the porch here and then we're going to call it done but before i do that i think this is a pumpkin that we had here last year so it's i don't know what we're going to get but it looks like we may have a pumpkin growing um, i need to paint my lanterns here um, this is one of the mums that i grew out in the garden area um, guys don't throw your mums away when the season is over put them somewhere cover them up actually mine just stay out in the garden over on the side and if you guys saw my garden video um, this past spring summer you would have seen the section where they are this one is another one now this one comes back I think this is like the third year of this one coming back I have one more out in the garden I'm going to bring over and then I have a few yellow mums I'm going to place maybe throughout in this area here or maybe over in this area maybe I want to bring some uh, the vibrant colors up towards the steps so um, this is the before and I will come back and show you guys the reveal. I may not get it done today because as you can see it's almost dark and so I may have to come back tomorrow. Alright guys just wanted to show you the beginning and stick around for the reveal. showing here guys is the actual paint that I will be using to paint the chair with I purchased two cans of this paint it's by Rust-Oleum um, from the Dollar General and I also got some um, sanding paper that's so I can sand it down any loose paintings to give it a good finish After painting, I took it over and sprayed some water on it just to get all the debris from it. And then I'm going to let it sit and dry and then I will come back and paint. I'm using a drying tower to dry it up so that it will dry faster. The sun is really shining bright today so in hopes that um, it will dry a lot quicker and then I can go ahead and start painting. So I'm just using a drying tower to dry it off and then I'm going to leave it, let the sun do its thing and then I'll be back to paint.
these are some tea light candles that I use inside of the lanterns because the uh, lights that are part of the lantern they no longer work I guess they've been out in the weather for so many years so I'm just using these little tea light candles for that little bit of ambiance and these candles have been inside those lanterns uh, since spring and summer or around Christmas I'm not sure exactly but I have not had to change batteries or anything they are really really good so I'm gonna go ahead and paint these lanterns and then guys we will continue around and finish the porch and the yard. So guys, DIY number three are some chargers um, that I am going to use. And I wanted them, those hunter green chargers. The ones I have um, seen available have been extremely pricey. So I decided to get these with the ridges in them, with the detail, and paint these, that hunter green. Um, the paint... And the chargers all together, all six chargers, can of two cans, three cans of paint are still less than what I've seen Hunter Green chargers for. Now, mind you, the Hunter Green chargers that I've seen have been the glass ones with a little gold rim around it, but I just can't find a way to pay that kind of money for it. So I'm going to go with these and then paint them. So this is um DIY number three and after that we're going to finish off the front yard but I wanted to get these DIYs doing, done because I'm going to use these now I may not be able to show you the chargers today um, but um, you will see them soon
Okay guys, let's go for a little field trip. We're gonna go out into the garden and I am going to show you guys my mums that are actually out here. And look, I'm still getting tomatoes. Oh, that beautiful look at that. Guys, the moment you've been waiting for, it is reveal time. Now this is the chair that I spray painted out back. Guys, I sanded it down just to get rid of any chips that was on it and gave it a nice paint job. It is absolutely beautiful. And what this must tell you is don't rid of your items that may still have life. Try a can of spray paint first. This pillow um, is just a casing that I got from Amazon a while back. I placed it here in the chair. The wreath is a DIY. I created the bow and added there to jazz it up even more. The um, signage, the initial signage on the wall there is one that I purchased from Timu. A little boxer um, in the planner here is one that... Um, I'm not sure where I got that boxer from, but the planner is one that I got from a local shop uh, in town. They have like a um, garden where they sell all types of plants. And so I got that planner from there. The Lowe's, the um, mums up top are from Lowe's as majority of them. Uh, these are my lanterns, placed them out in the yard in the garden here. Created such a beautiful space here on the side. 
And as you can see, um, some of these mums are from my garden. These bright yellow ones are from this place called Dwayne's um, that I like to visit. And I explained that to you guys earlier in the video. That big huge one back there is from my garden as I took you out in the garden and shared with you some of the mums that were returning. And guys, this is the final reveal of my... Uh, front porch and, and yard makeover the tree here my husband and I we cut it down because it was just had no life to it it had partial life but it didn't look good here in the front so we cut it down um, the hedges have been trimmed um, we just have a sprinkling of straw here we will add some more straw a little bit later on um, yeah this is that beautiful mom that was out in the garden and isn't she beautiful guys we just put these things out in the garden we didn't give them any water any nutrients or anything they are just striving and surviving and I am enjoying reaping the benefits of um, saving them so guys I hope you've enjoyed this video um, if you have please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up it lets YouTube know that you enjoy the content that we bring this is another mum from my garden. These three little yellow mums are from Lowe's. They were over on the clearance section. I just get a few days out of them, hopefully. And then my lanterns, you see, they are absolutely beautiful there. And this is our front porch. This is the front porch. This is the front yard for fall of 2024. Again, guys, I welcome you to the family. It's easy. Just make sure you hit the subscribe button. Tap that notification bell twice so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. And I welcome you here. I thank you guys so, so very much. So continue to watch and enjoy to the music. I will continue to let you see it all in slow motion. Thanks, guys. Be blessed.